Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity Asset Store review where we will be reviewing Nani Novel. So I don't think this is going to be too long and complicated. It looks like an amazing asset. So let's get right to it. Right, I've installed Nani Novel and I realized I needed backgrounds and the characters. So what I did was went through to the Asset Store and I downloaded Dynamic Space Background Light is free unity chan model this is a free asset as well provided by unity themselves and of course you need nani novel which is 150 dollars currently but it's going on sale tomorrow hence this review so let's see if it is worth it or not so if you go into assets nani novel you will find a documentation PDF file. So this is my first point of checking uh, an asset out to see what the documentation is like. This isn't very substantial, but there's an online uh, documentation guide that is really well done. So you'll see that the developers here really spent a lot of time documenting this thing. And that is a very good sign. And another good thing is this seems to be up to, up to date. When I follow this, everything worked just as planned. And uh, what's lacking is video tutorials, but it's not too bad. I think um, the little tutorials that they have, which you will find in that documentation, the online documentation, should suffice to get you up and running. The rest of the stuff you kind of need to figure out on your own. So. That's one maybe little gripe I've got. So how does this work? Uh, I'm going to show you guys just, just a, a basic um, use case for this thing. Yeah, and uh, how to get started. So resources. First thing, you need backgrounds. So I'm going to add a background, which I've imported already. And I'm going to call this uh, background one. So you can have as many as you want. Uh, what do I need to do here? So I did this earlier. So I did the tutorials earlier. So I'm just seeing if I can remember it because that would be a good sign as well. Yes, to the ease, ease of use. Um, okay. So that's the, I'm going to dock this project settings here because it keeps disappearing on me. And I'm going to find my background. My space background is under the Stenby folder. And let's choose Nebula Red. That was quite, some, quite a nice one. And then we need some characters. Okay, firstly, let me show you what this looks like. As soon as you press play with Nani Novel installed, it has some default functionality like this little uh, menu, this main menu that, that's there. And there's some other menus that, that's available and other user interface elements that you can uh, update yourself. You can completely replace it or you can update what they've provided. And I'm not going into that. Okay, so I created a little script already. I expected my background to show up, but it didn't. So let's see why. Um, failed to load background one appearance texture from main background resource is not found. Interesting. Okay, that was my mistake. So what has to happen is under backgrounds, this needs to be main background, okay? for your first one. And then inside that, if you will have background one or name it whatever you want to, I'm using it uh, in my scripts as background one. So this is the name that you're going to reference in your script for whatever background it is. In this case, Nebula Red. So if I make background two, for example, and I will reference Nebula Blue, Save that and in my script, just worry about this line for now. It's uh, at back means background to use and I'm using background one. So if I press play. New game, it's displaying my red nebula. And if I go and change that to background two now, that will be 
my blue background. Great, that's working perfectly. Now we need to add in a character and I've downloaded Unity Chan already. So I'm going into the prefabs folder and under Unity Chan, I'm just opening that and okay, so I've done this earlier. What you need to do before you can use it with uh, Nani Novel, whenever or with any 3D characters, you need to add the script on, which is generic character behavior. On the, especially this first one, just to get started, you need to add in the animator, which is attached to it. So you just click and drag down here like that. And then you will click on animator, set trigger, set trigger string and next. That is because of the way my animator is set up or this Unity Chan animator is set up by default, which is the Unity Chan AR pose I'm using. And you can see here, it's just uh, all the poses that she has and each one goes from one to the, to the other with a transition of next. And you can go back with, well, just back. And you see each one of them is next, 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 next. So you can test out a whole bunch of poses easily and change this so easily using Nani Novel. So this is ideal to test with. So let's just go back to our configuration and set this up. But first, back to Unity Chan, prefabs. Okay, I've got my prefab there. Go to Nani Novel, the tab on top. Click on resources and characters. And in here, click on plus and uh, her name is Kohaku, actually. I just found that out today. And click on that little arrow next to it. And just down at the bottom, you click and, oh, well, first you have to click on the plus. Give a name again. Um, I don't know why there's another name here. Or I guess this one, multiple animations, uh, but we're just using one, so. Oh, because also, also because we're using a 3D model, you have to change the implementation type to Nani Novel Generic Character. Otherwise, you cannot click and drag your 3D model onto that slot over there. Okay, uh, save that. I'm just going to take this and dock it down here, make my life easier, and get rid of this animator. Press play. New game and yes, there we go. So you can see she's in her first pose as I click through. It's displaying a different message. So it's welcome to my world now, a different pose. Prepare for the adventure of a lifetime. Okay, let me show you before I continue with the rest of those options. Let me show you what the script look like, looks like. So um, you can edit it through Unity. And if I go back to my scripts, so these scripts I created earlier, just let me show you where I go. I created this folder called My Nani Novel Scripts. In there, you can right click and create Nani Novel and Nani Novel Script. It's best to create it like this and not through um, the file system or anything like that. Just so that it's it, just so that Nani Novel configures it properly. Um, otherwise, what you have to do is go to Project Settings and Resource Provider. No. Scripts, scripts, scripts. And Manage Resource Scripts and add your scripts in that way. Okay, so you see there is an editor here where you can go and modify the script, but I really don't like this. So I'm just opening this up in VS Code. If you guys have not used VS Code, it's, it's a very nice tool. Uh, especially for like text editing. I still use Visual Studio. So Visual Studio and VS Code are different. Don't get confused. Because VS Code is actually short for Visual Studio Code. Um, I don't know if they're going to uh, bring those products together at some point, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so our first line there I spoke about earlier, that's to set the background. At char is to say what character you're using. And we are using Kohaku 3D. 
and we're saying use the next pose so that's the next transition that's in the animator so if i go back to that animator uh where are you over here remember each one of these poses you go through by just calling next each transition is marked with next so that's nice and simple and that's where that comes in if we go back here kaku3d.next that goes up next and then it displays this text what is up guys and it displays it at the bottom of the screen so i want to show you something first before i go on if i press play there's different ways for you to display to display the text and it's all configuration so here it's displaying this text at the bottom you can line this differently as well just need to look that up from ide uh and here if you want to change that there's this command at printer which printer is basically the text that's displayed at the bottom so for each text that you're displaying for each of your characters that's using this at printer command or this at printer should i say is configuring how the how the how the text is going to be displayed in this case now i uncommented this line and it's saying bubble dot left etc i think that's pretty self-explanatory but do you see what happened there that changed to a speech bubble so as i click along how cool is that and so nice and easy so this is different this is not in speech bubble because these are actually commands that you need to click on and that will take you on a different path in your game going back to the script here's where these commands come into play so this is basically the label for the command continue executing the script to load another script and these at choices just means okay there's a bunch of choices that's given to the player each one of these at choices can be clicked on and then different actions can be taken so you see here for this first line it says continue from the next line and there's no other command afterwards so it's just going to continue after this in and i mean after this i mean after all these choice options so the next command is stop so it'll just stop continue from the specified label here you see it says go to dot label name which i do not have defined here so it won't do anything or it'll probably break the third option is what i'm most interested in because this says load another from start uh, so this goes to another script okay so uh, load another script from start this i copied and pasted from uh, the documentation so go to script 2 and i created the script 2 over here it just has a different background well let's make make it a different background um escape background one so that we know it's in the in the correct script immediately uh so the first line is this is script 2 option one and then it will continue as normal if that's the path that you've taken if you've chosen look load another script from label it's going to go here in this case go to script 2 so it will jump to script 2 and find that label and you define a label with a hash hash sign hash and i've called that option 2 so in other words it's going to go load script 2 jump straight to option 2 and execute this line and then stop so let's see if that is actually the case i press play it takes so long to start up but anyway that's not a big problem given what this tool actually gives you i have to go through each one okay continue from the next line can you specified label load another script from start i want to load another script from label which is going to come to script two and print out this is script two option two and change the background as well which it did not why did it not oh because it skips the background completely so i will actually need to add this in here as well 
the background option was the first command there and it skips that completely because of that go to go to label okay click 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 and load from another label and he changes the background this is script 2 option 2 awesome so guys this is this is just really really cool to work with it's easy look there there's a bit of a learning curve here right but i did a couple of tutorials and checked out the documentation for about an hour before doing this tutorial there is just so much you can do with this and I just want to show you the documentation highlight quickly. So you go to nandinovel.com and guide. And just some of the cool features that I saw earlier. Characters, of course you can have multiple characters, 2D or 3D. You can get them to animate as well. Um, Backgrounds, you can get uh, create layered backgrounds, video backgrounds, uh, composed of multiple different sprites as well, as transition effects. Uh, the user interface, like I said, it's a default one, but you can change that to your liking. I have not played with that. There's a save system built in, uh, game settings built in, input processing, uh, sure, and you can. You can extend this as well with your own script and there's a community modding uh, functionality as well so you can create your own mods or import mods I guess. I don't know what the community is actually like but you can check it out. I think it's on their discord server so let's check that out. Uh, you can fig configure the text printers like I said earlier. So like an auto advance thing text skipping, printer backlog, uh, full screen, uh, chat, like a text chat on your phone, uh, bubble I showed you guys earlier, and so you can see this is really configurable, really extensible, well thought out, well implemented, I'm really impressed and not to mention just well documented. I have not seen this level of documentation on uh, on a Unity asset before. Okay, Gaia Pro is one that has like a great documentation as well. But that tends to get outdated quite quickly with the amount of changes they make. But this seems to be very stable. Whatever I've tried out here works exactly as it is in the documentation. So there you have it. That's an amazing asset. I hope you all agree with that. Uh, if you have to try writing something like that by yourself, it's going to take you forever and ever. So definitely worth the price, every single cent and then some. So if you can get it while it's on sale. Otherwise, I will say this. It is definitely worth the full price as well. But since it is on sale, get it. Okay, um, guys, please like and subscribe if you found this useful and let me know what else I should review. Okay, until next time, enjoy.